already um, felt those effects very dramatically without any warning to the students. Um, we really, it seems like it's almost been done undercover to completely um, put us at risk. I'm, when the, it was all sort of being rumoured around in the college, there, um, I felt, well, I wasn't too sure what's going on and I'll be honest with you, I still don't quite know, got, know what's going on. So what I did was, with another student, we decided to email the student union. I went to the student union office, I went twice and I couldn't see anybody. So in order to just get clarity on what was happening, because already I'd noticed the technicians had left, we needed those technicians to be able to make sure uh, the, you know, our courses are run properly, they helped with cleaning and they helped with preparation and helped the sort of workflow because of the actual physical work that we do, a lot of the construction courses that we do. So I noticed that the teachers were cleaning, teachers were cleaning up and teachers were, their time was uh, being spent up and there was a, ch a change in both the duties teachers were doing and uh, and it was visibly visibly recognizable that there was a chain and, and then it was just like the technicians that you who help you get your tools help you identify tools and they're part of the process of learning as well the technicians because they have invaluable knowledge as well they were gone um, and they kept um, um, you know that was no answers really given there seemed to be an atmosphere of fear when you asked why weren't they there so I noticed that both in my wel uh, welding class and uh, both in my construction in my brick class and with the welding is essential with the brick it was essential because the metals are prepared by the technicians they have invaluable knowledge because many of them have been here for decades so when you ask them they nearly know they so much as, as teachers so the te the technicians as well weren't available for you to ask questions because the teachers are so busy with the students as well so suddenly you're robbed of that knowledge that the technicians had as well um, so already there was that impact so at that point I thought well why don't I ask the student union I don't know what's next because if you've removed the technicians is there a risk the teachers could go so I then with another student we prepared an email to um, the student union since I couldn't find them. When I emailed um, I took a very sort of uh, diplomatic position of just simply requesting information as to what is happening at the college. If there were cuts what were those cuts and could we have that information and if there is a situation where the cuts are going to be taking place is it possible uh, is is there already or were they in preparation of a petition for us to sign and could we sign it and if there wasn't a petition could there any chance maybe this it would be best if the student union could organize a petition that we could just sign so I think it's been almost two months now I've had no response at all and also it was being rumored um, the person who did it was also a mature uh, student here with me and I was amazed that he was you know still you know studying and enjoying his studies his age and we were concerned about another room and the two of us because I'm uh, a mature student technically I'm 42 that um, he had that the courses that were going to be taking place from the September were near were going to be more geared to a government strategy of funding towards entrepreneurs for 16 to 18 year olds and there was a risk that those mature students are being ousted out of education. So me and the, the other mature student who prepared that email, we also were making that request because we had those concerns that um, we were no longer going to get an equal opportunity um, to education or continued professional development. Um, so we had cause for concern and, and again, there was no response. What has also concerned me that there seemed to be no presence of or action taken by the unions as well because eventually from technicians losing the job next thing I knew is that teachers were losing their jobs teachers that have been here for decades my own teacher that was teaching me um, 
called Steeler Fabrication. Even though this sound like the government has used uh, also uh, what I feel is a very sly approach to both bully people out. They've, they've, I mean, it's been mentioned even today to me again, it was all about contracts. But I believe that this was just a strategy. The intent is the same, which was to, to cut out those teachers, regardless of whether it was a contractual issue, whatever. The intent was to destroy uh, uh, the education system and undermine it in order for um, the, the, us to not have the same opportunities. Would you like, uh, how would you like people to support you in the community? Well, I'm just in principle standing here today. I think that the student union need to respond to that email. I think people need to be made aware. People are not aware. They're enrolling today and some of these teachers are not going to be there. Teachers are here today and it's actually their last day here today. So that's a little bit deceptive, a little bit fraudulent as well. However, some teachers, uh, those teachers need to be, uh, there needs to be a demand for teachers to be reinstated. Um, all the other supportive staff, such as in the libraries, etc., um, who are under threat. It sounds like everybody's job has been under threat. Um, there needs to be a, uh, people need to take action now to either reinstate the teachers that have already gone and they said there was about 150 staff cuts have gone and more are expected September so right. action has got to be taken to to, to, to to make it known that it was unacceptable those teachers have gone and unacceptable that more teachers should go if they've got away with getting rid of the other teachers so quietly and undermine in an undermined manner they're gonna do it again and because they got away with that People have got to voice. If they don't speak up, it's going to be too late. It's too late now for those other teachers. It's, but necessarily, we should take action to get them reinstated. It's too late for the technicians, but still take action to get them reinstated or review. And uh, uh, um, that's what I feel that we need. Community groups need to stand up for this college. And the next thing, if we allow the, the government to continue to take education cuts, they will close down this college. They've attempted with other building, and they'll attempt it with this because they've got away with it so far. Thank you very much. Okay.